Welcome back to Wake Up America. Did you ever wonder how watching an underwater flip turn in the pool doesn't make you dizzy? Or how movie scenes with movement happen so smoothly? Such as, remember Rocky running up the steps at the Philadelphia Museum of Art? I mean, who doesn't remember that? And the Redwood Forest scene and the return of the Jedi? Or remember that creepy maze and those moments of the terrifying tricycles in the movie Shining? Well, they all stem from the Steadicam. And our next guest invented it and revolutionized Hollywood earning four Academy Awards in the process. Well, he now has a new device that took a decade to create, and he hopes it is going to be even more groundbreaking. Joining us now is inventor Garrett Brown. Garrett, welcome to Wake Up America. Thanks, Great, so. great to have you. So, Garrett, you brought with you what's called the zine. You invented this after your dad um, was in a wheelchair. Talk to us a little bit about that and how this works. Well, you know, as you do, I was hanging out with him, and it, he was declining gracefully, and it, you know, it took weeks, and I was watching his pals on walkers and wheelchairs, and, you know, with the habit of inventing, you look at stuff and you see something missing between walkers and wheelchairs. You know, walkers, as we know, are kind of trudging along and, you know, leaning on an right. object, and not a great way to cover the ground. And uh, wheelchairs, I got in trouble for saying they're a one-way ticket to not walking. Mm. But, you know, if you get down in a wheelchair and you don't get up and get active, that, that's kind of true. Yeah, because you're sitting all the time, too. Yeah. So with a walker, I know my grandfather had a walker, and he had those, um, those tennis balls in the front. <laughs> yes. And I just remember yeah. it was really difficult for him to, to get around with it, but he didn't want to go in a wheelchair. So can you demonstrate and show us how this is different from a, a regular wheelchair? Well, it's sort of a combination device. It, you know, mobility is not just horizontal, it's, it's vertical as well. It's 3D mobility is what we've taken to calling it. Because this is a comfy chair, but it also does the lifting. Okay. And it gets you up to seated height, right? That's great. And there are a couple of easy to use, you know, seat belt deal that keeps you in it because it keeps your center you know, in the center of the device, and right? And you're safe, too. And so, and one of the things is, as I was sitting there looking up at you, you have some empathy with people in wheelchairs because they're at a different level than humanity, you know? And boy, it's great to be up <laughs> it's great to at this eye altitude. Level, right? yeah. So that's the other thing, too. Um, so now people can, can have an eye-level conversation. So not only exactly. can they be upright, yeah. um, and I know that some of the technology from the Steadicam that you invented went into this. Talk to yeah, us more about that. Yeah, the lifting part. It was a bit daunting because I lift, you know, I was lifting 70 pound cameras and this can lift up to 300 pounds or 250 wow. pounds of human, you know. And it isn't like a motor that kind of winds away lifting you slowly. Mm -hmm. This is like, you know, it's like you're a kid. It's like your legs feel like you felt 30 years ago. And this, this is called barstool mode, which folks love. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, with the seat belt and the and the wheels and so on. The important thing is it's a great way to get around. Can I, can I tool around? I think you can. I, did, I wanted to ask you because um, Heart Health Awareness Month is February oh, yeah. and, and I know a lot of people that are, that are sedentary or they're sitting, that's obviously not good for your heart. And by this, this is really, this is beneficial in so many different ways as well by being able to be mobile. Um, and I think we have a, and, something and on this. And upright. Yeah, and yeah. upright. And, and it can yeah. help you maneuver, can help you get where you need to go. And not only for your heart, but also I would think mental, uh, your mental exactly. ability too. Because now, as you mentioned, we're looking at each other. You don't feel that your people are looking down at you. Yeah, and, and it, I've learned there's a host of other things. Bone density, uh, your, your digestive system, uh, uh, a host of, of health benefits to simply being upright, you know, circulatory. Uh, it's, it's astonishing when you add it all up because this, this is what we were meant to do. Even something as simple as, as pressure sores, which people get mm -hmm. if they're sit sitting in one place. The fact that you can easily go, you know, even if you're just using your hands to lift you, changes the way your, how shall I say, bum right. is on the seat, and that makes a difference. And then, you know, it's a great way to get around. You can either walk, like a walker, or, importantly, you can coast. And coasting is just, 
a fantastic yeah. way to get around. I mean, coasting. And Garrett, I can imagine too, you know, with your dad when he was on the walker, yeah. if you wanted to go for a walk with him or you wanted to interact or do things that you had done before, he probably felt that he wasn't able to do as much by being in that. And by, by something exactly. like this, yeah. if you yeah. have an, an elder person you're taking care of or a family member, it puts them almost on the same level and, and helps them as well as psychologically. And, and they're autonomous. You know, they they don't need somebody, nurses and so on, right. with them to walk because they're functionally safe. You know, with a seatbelt. Well, I love it. I think this is great. We really loved having you come in and showing well, us your your new you. invention. Thank you Garrett so much. Brown, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Alison. Of course.